Hey everybody, so today we have here just the A2179 2020 MacBook Air. We actually did for liquid spill repair, but let's at least just show you what we did here and let's just talk about it a little bit. So this one, as you can see, we actually did a quite a bit of work on this one for the A2179 2020 MacBook Air. There was a liquid spill here. It was actually pretty bad. And as you can see, we actually did clean it up a bit and we did uh, replace a lot of components. As you can see with the, the flux and everything else that we used here. And you can also see from or we have an audio jack board here that's also been pretty damaged itself. Since it's a separate board and we do have it actually at our store here, we just did a replacement on it because you can see obviously how much damage is actually here. It's quite corroded almost on every single component and every single piece here. And as well as, if you can see, even the cable here has been impacted uh, very much from the liquid damage and there's some burn marks on there. Um, so we did replace those completely and we did fix um, and clean up all the damage that's actually on the board so then you're gonna think okay uh, what's the next so what else is there to do on here and that's a very good question so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go put it back together and uh, show you what we actually do get here all right, so we do have everything plugged in here that we do need alright so we do have everything plugged in actually that we do need uh, the repair has been done um, here's obviously you can see the, the new cable here that's going in there and this is the new board and here was the old one like we showed you underneath that's pretty badly damaged um, as well as this the original cable it does have like a burn mark you can kind of see that at the end there there's a black little mark from a burn and we did replace all everything we replaced those again we did clean up the board here most of the impact was around this area and we cleaned a lot and we did replace a lot of components there um, so let's just see when we do plug it in uh, what's going on uh, we did plug in the battery too and Let's see what we get here. So let's go plug it in. And let's see if it comes on. Um, for some of these models, um, obviously the fan doesn't really s have to spin all the time. That's just how some of the MacBooks actually do work here. And we do notice something. Um, so the processor is actually getting warm itself and it's very faint but there it is actually making a noise here so make sure you guys can actually hear that if I take it away it's less So you can hear that noise. So after all the work, after all the, so after all the work that we actually did for it, uh, replacing the components, cleaning up the liquid spill, uh, putting in hours of um, obviously just work into this just to make it at least turn on. It is turning on, and this is what you get when it does turn on. You get that noise that's coming from the CPU. And um, the thing is, there's no display. There's nothing. Nothing comes up. It's just a black screen. But when you plug it in, it does actually make this noise. Even when you unplug the cable here um, it still shows that it, it's on and it will still make the same noise and um, you can turn it on and off with the, the power switch it still makes the same noise there um, we do notice that it is it's obviously it's coming from the CPU so it does seem to be more of a CPU issue obviously since there's been a lot of uh, liquid spill damage um, it can obviously impact the CPU itself there but um, even after all this um, this came in completely dead uh, we repaired it we got it to at least turn on get it to at least this point now the fact of the matter is that this itself, if you can see this is actually a heat sink here. And what the heat sink usually does is um, it needs to go somewhere. It's because this is just a heat sink so it's transferring heat from the CPU. And then it will touch the thermal paste and the thermal paste will transfer it to the heat sink actually here. And then the heat sink usually has what it's called a fin. And it will go off here and it will show you, it will go off here and then the fan usually does blow um, air that's going from the heat sink it will be blowing out usually outside of the laptop itself it doesn't actually have that it has a fan that doesn't have a the whole point of having a fan here is to have a fin which connects to the heat sink and it'll blow out and we actually do have a great example of this you can see this is actually what it should look like is there's usually a heat sink right here and the, the there's a fin that actually transfers the heat here and then the fan would go on where this side is and it'll be blowing um, where the heat of the heat sink is transferring 
to this metal piece here and you will see the fan will be blowing out here this design on these macbook airs especially the ones from so all the a1932 and all the a2179 have the same type of design obviously engineering this um they, there's a reason for this fan to be here it's blowing air somewhere and it's using this fan has to have a purpose there's no way it's just here and it's just not connected to anything maybe there's some other type of engineering obviously that, that we're not aware of that the fan is being used here but it's not being used at least to dissipate from the processor we have seen similar designs on these types of heat sinks um, especially on intel uh, processors that you might just see a heat sink here and you want to see a, a fan actually um, here's a really good example on this is one of the windows machines that actually does have this and sometimes these are the y processors you might see like an intel y uh, Y5 or I'm not too sure exactly what they're called, but they're supposed to be lower um, power consumption processors that do have this, this very similar type of design where it just has a heat sink. You can see there's a heat sink here, which is, which is the the, the copper is, and there will actually be no fan here. And underneath the, the processor is usually like a thermal pad or some thermal paste, but there's no fan. And we have seen these in the past. Um, they've actually gone bad, especially a lot of the ones that don't have a fan do seem to fail quite a bit here, and we've seen a lot of them for repair. And usually the CPU actually does fail, and that's one of the major things. Um, the thing is, when you have any type of laptop, or even you, if you see a big desktop, you see all those big fans in there, and you'd see them over the CPU, those are heat sinks and they're cooling fans. Um, most of these higher powered, um, most of these higher power Intel chips require this because what this is going to do is um, it needs to cool. The whole reason why your laptop makes a, has a fan. And the whole reason why the desktop has a fan because um, it's using a lot of energy. Um, it has a lot of wattage and a lot of power, and it needs to dissipate the heat somehow. So if you have a nice heat sink and you have a nice fan, you're going to have a pretty good performance. Um, sometimes we notice that the laptop is extremely hot. What it will do is it will actually thermal throttle itself. And so it will, it will reach a level where it gets too hot and it will thermal throttle itself. So you'll get reduced performance, and sometimes you'll see a lot of stutter and lag, especially if you're running like... Um, like a Premiere Pro or you're, you're doing something very, very intensive like video editing or playing games. If you see a lot of like lag that actually just randomly happens, that can be part of the reason why is because the CPU is, is really struggling and maybe it's, um, it, it has a turbo clock, it has a turbo boost that's, that's going a little bit higher than it should and it's going to be pushing the higher the frequency, the higher the, the voltage necessary and the higher the voltage necessary means that's going to get hotter and the hotter means it needs to have uh, cooling. I mean, especially chips on your cell phone, um, they actually don't really have a fan, and that's because of just as a lower power requirement. The new M1 chips will probably be pretty similar that they don't necessarily require a fan, but if they do get too hot if they're doing a big workload, it will just get very, very hot. It's still good even to have a fan in there because the fan's obviously going to give it a, is going to cool it and it's going to run better. You're going to have more performance. Almost every single type of electronic that uses a lot of power does have fans. You can see like game consoles have fans. Um, any type of laptop, most laptops, obviously not this one, but um, obviously not this one, but uh, laptops and computers do have fans for that reason. It's to, it's to circulate air and it's to cool down this processor. The processor and the GPU do get very hot, so as well as other components too. So if you see other fans, um, the fans are supposed to circulate th throughout the whole entire you know, board here, so everything stays cool because other components obviously get cool as well. But just to get back to, to the point here that the, this processor obviously has been impacted. Um, we did research this, and um, we do see that this is a CPU issue. So even after all the work that we did put in here to turn it on, and um, all the components that we did repair, and all the liquid spill that we did fix there, um, even for this client, it's it's still f it still seems to be really un unrepairable as the CPU has been impacted. And it's pretty bizarre to see a CPU actually make a clicking noise. So unfortunately for this client, for this issue, um, even though we did do a repair and we did the fix, it still has a CPU issue. And for this, we would need to go a little bit further into it. Um, there's no schematic that I, that's actually made available as of making this video, so there's not really much we can really do. So unfortunately, it's one of those things where if we're not, we're not able to see that schematic, then we can't do the repair on it. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found this very video informative. Um, please leave a like for more content on MacBook Air repair, especially other MacBooks and other Apple products that we actually do repair. Please leave a comment below if you actually have seen this issue before or ever heard of the CPU clicking on the... MacBook Air 2020 A2179, or have you heard of it in any other of the MacBooks? Go ahead and check out our store, and we do have lots of MacBook parts available. Check it out in the link in the description below as well. And thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.